One of the reasons I joined AHO is because of the many opportunities it offers me to keep learning, both here and in the classroom. We learn from experts in our, lead, in our industry, like Monoj and our next guest. Please welcome Jeff Bellotti, President and Chief Executive Officer of Wyndham Hotel Group. Thank you, uh, Hoa, for letting me speak today. I have rarely been in inspired as I just was by Manoj. And in the spirit of inspiration and not, as he said, changing the channel, I have the opportunity to talk to you about, about leadership and leaders like Manoj. And I feel rather incompetent up here as an MBA What do MBAs do when they're given an assignment? They do exactly what he said we'd do, and you Google how to make your presentation better with pretty pictures. And when you Google the word leadership, a lot of images come up, images of handshakers and flag wavers, images, and I don't know why, as Manoj would tell you, are absolutely useless of this isn't what leadership is about. Rock climbers and rope climbers and ladder climbers. But the one image that does not come up is the image of that man. The one image that does not come up is the image of the leadership characteristic that so many of you in this room demonstrate daily. And that's the image of empathy. And when I think of leaders, and I had never met our keynote, and I will never change the channel thinking that he is giving 99% of his wealth back. I mean, that's unheard of. The leader that has most inspired me in my career, the image is of this woman. How many of you in this room have heard or met Crystal DeHaan? Crystal is a woman, an amazing woman, who grew up of very modest means in war-torn Germany. And after her father was killed in a bombing raid, survived through those dark days with her mother and her sisters, and emigrated, as so many great Germans do, to the United States of America, to Indiana a state with the highest German population, I believe, in our country. And like so many of you, this woman, when she emigrated, became an entrepreneur. She met this man, John DeHaan, and started a company called RCI. How many of you have heard of RCI? This woman went on to create the world's leading timeshare exchange company on her own wits, determination, and hard work. And when she sold that company to our company, Wyndham, she took the hundreds of millions of dollars. And as we just heard, she did not stay quiet. She created a school that feeds and clothes the poorest of the poor in the communities that made her successful. Communities here in the United States of America Communities in South Africa, in Latin America, Venezuela, and Mexico, and communities back in India, where RCI has a big, big presence. And from the urban slums of Bangalore to the semi-rural slums of Nairapur, she opened Crystal House, and she is making a difference. She pulls children from communities that, as we just heard, are all too common. Communities you all know far too well. Where electricity is a big issue. Where water and sanitation is often non-existent. But where families are proud. And as we just heard, what matters most is having a job. Meet the Dirwa family. Ajay is a laborer and a very good one, a bricklayer. And that's his wife, Santos. And they have three little girls. 
And you'll note that two of them have a Crystal House uniform on. And Seema and Tamashwari each day are transported by a magical bus to a magical place where they are provided what their mother most cares about, clean water. That's Santos's biggest concern for her daughters, is having that clean water we just heard is so important. And a nutritious meal and medical attention and a hot shower. But most importantly, hope. Hope for a future. Hope for a job. Hope for doing better. In the words of that Chinese philosopher that Crystal hangs her hat on that are so important, and you all know this, give a man a fish and you feed him for a day. Teach that child to fish, and you feed that child for a lifetime. And that is what this empathetic leader has done in terms of giving back. Finding India's proudest and most committed teachers who are teaching these children how to read, these bright and shiny faces, how to write, the skills that will set them up for what is most important, a job, exposing them to the humanities and the arts, opening their hearts, opening their minds. And these children are going on and they are graduating. They are graduating and going on to higher education. And they are starting to work in our resorts, in our hotels. So we can't change the channel. We need to all give back. It is our duty. And whenever we think of great leaders, like so many of you in this room who are giving back, we think of those who are listening through others' ears, who are seeing through others' eyes, and who are feeling through others' hearts and who are standing not in judgment of a community that smells bad, but standing in absolute awe of what we all can do, like Crystal, to give back. And I would urge each and every one of you to go to her website, and if you'd like to learn more, stop by our desk, our booth at the trade show. We have some great collateral on how important this cause is, one of the many causes that are going on today through great and empathetic leaders. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jeff. I'd like to bring up my fellow officers. Jeff, you're one of the greatest business leaders in the country, a champion for our industry, an unparalleled advocate for NAHOA as an association, a genuine and enduring friend to our members and to me personally. It is my great pleasure to present you with NAHOA's highest honor, the Friend of the Hotelier Award. Jeff, we present this award to public officials and industry leaders who demonstrate an extraordinary commitment to our industry, an intimate knowledge of our members, and record of successfully advancing issues important to all hoteliers. Past recipients of this award include cabinet secretaries, governors, and congressional leaders. And your importance to AHOA rivals that of any public official. We are grateful for your leadership, friendship, and our service to our industry. Congratulations, Jeff. <laughs>